What's the formula for writing a great story? I think that the, the, a great story starts with finding a, a character in a strange situation and working that character out of that situation. And uh, Faulkner said that that's the way his novel started, is that a, a character haunted him, and he allowed it to haunt him uh, until he'd answered, until, until questions started coming up. And he gave the example of, you know, a novel I wrote once started with a girl sitting in a tree with muddy underpants, and her knees were bruised, and she's looking in the window of the house from the tree, and she's crying. And he said, so I started asking questions about it, like, why were her knees bruised? Well, no, why were her knees not bruised? They were not bruised. And it's because she climbed this tree since she was little and didn't have any problem climbing the tree. But why were her pants dirty? Well, because her brother pushed her in the creek, and that's why she ran home. And why was she looking in the window? Because she was told not to come in the house. What was she looking at in the window? Well, it was the funeral of her grandfather, and so on. And, and when he had all those questions asked, he could then answer those questions. And the, the, the thing about Faulkner that kind of illustrates my view of creativity is that he didn't write this down. You know, I always say that if you trust your mind, the story will form itself in your mind. The minute you start writing it down, you're interfering with your mind because you're now dealing with pieces of paper and we start feeling possessive about pieces of paper and we want to do something with them. We want to put them in order. But what if one of these pieces of paper isn't a good one at all? Well, he'll forget that. He'll forget the thing about her knees, you know, for example, if that's not a good one. But he leaves it all in his mind because that way it's free to form, almost like an embryo, any way it wants to form. And once it's fully formed, then you sit down and write it out. Um, I always said people will never have writer's block at all if they simply never sit down to write until they know, until they know what they're going to write when they sit down. And if you know that in advance, then you just start dashing it out. That's why you're, you limit your time, 45 minutes, an hour, and at the end of it, you can't wait to write more. Perfect, now go to tomorrow and do it then because that energy will be there already. Whereas if you sort of run out of things to write, you've misused your time management, you know? So I think that that's how a story starts is by some character that haunts you until you have to write about it and then you go and apply all the other rules about storytelling on top of that. But basically it starts with a character and no matter how great a writer you are, if you don't have a, an intriguing character at the heart of it, uh, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna hold your reader. You're not gonna hold your audience. The audience is, wants to see people.